you know, having you here in the studio is quite a thrill to finally be to meet you in person because you've been with us for a while. And what you do is very important for a lot of people who, you know, I want you to come over by me because we're going to look at something together. We're going to look at something together. First, I'll come down by you. We're, we're sharing a microphone because the doctor came today and we're going to talk about our practice. But first, what I want to do is talk about what's happening at uh, the Spring Fest at your table. Mm -hmm. Now, you are going, you of course, you're from Feet and Beyond. Yes. And you've been in, in, in our listening area for quite a while now. Yeah, definitely. I've been uh, in this uh, area for at least 11 years. 11 years. And yes, and I've been listening to a very uh, loyal listener to WRNJ. Thank you very much, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now, you do look just like your picture. Yes. Is it a... <laughs> I'm glad that I have an age. <laughs> how, long, how old is that picture? That's, That's... actually uh, last year. That's, that's pretty good. That is actually before that we moved to our new locations. Um, that's uh, last August. Let's talk about for a minute something very important. A podiatrist. Tell me if you agree or you disagree. Like you get your eyes checked and you, you, you go and you go to a dentist. Wouldn't you say that it's just as important to get your, your feet checked? Quite honestly. Yes, I think it's definitely it's very essential. Um, most of the time, we don't think about foot pain until... Uh, it's too late. Too late. And yes. believe me, from the list of ailments that people suffer from that right. go to your practice, right. I'm sure that's just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The The most common one that I have from friends who play softball are those horrible, then, horrible Achilles heel injuries. Right, right. Th those are brutal and hard to recover from. Yes, yes. And most of the active uh, athlete or, you know, uh, very active people that they have heel pain. The heel pain is brutal. Yes, heel pain is uh, very uh, debilitating. Now, a lot of people may not understand this. People suffer throughout their lives with hammer toes. Yes. You get that? I guess it's hereditary. You're born with that or, mm -hmm. or you develop that? What? It's uh, kind of like a genetic. It's transferred down because our foot structure is gathered from our parents, unfortunately. <laughs> and the, and the, wearing and shoes is torture with that. Wearing shoes is actually aggravated more. And, uh, of course, There's I, no need to suffer. Yeah, no I mean, your suffer. your life with those, if you need to wear high heels, uh, you you probably can't. You you live your life with flats. Well, I do have patients have hammer toes. So really? They still wear high heels. Um, they have bunion, they still wear high heels. I'm not against of any high heels. I wear high heels seeing patients. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're wearing your flats, yes. actually. But so, uh, uh, I told my patients, it's like everything come with moderations. If you expect to be on your feet more than three hours, let's not, you know, bring an extra flip-flop or sandal with you to yes. switch. Um, for me, if I have a short day, I usually wear high heels. But I always have a pair of sneakers on my clock with me, and this has been... Very uh, important. Yeah, very important. From Feet and Beyond, we're joined right now by Dr. Helene Gwen, and it's an honor, and I'm very happy to have you in the studio mm -hmm. and to have you on the air. Right. And somebody told me that uh, you listen in the in in your uh, in your office. You have it on a couple of the radios there at the right, desks, right? Right, right, right. So, diabetic foot. Here's a good question for you. Now, I have members of my family that suffer from diabetes, but I they don't go to to a foot doctor. What do you what do you look for? You look for something. Why is it important? Change in skin color, um, mm. ingrown toenail, thickening of toenails, cold feet. Mm. Very important because it's a uh, cold feet usually in diabetic indications of poor circulations, poor mm -hmm. blood perfusion to the toes, numbness, tinglings, burning sensations. You the know, burning sensations. That yeah, is, my mom gets that. Yeah, yeah that is when the, diabetes. the yeah. sugar in the blood level is elevated, so it kind of compromises with the nerve signaling to the toes. I see that on a TV commercial too, where it feels like your foot's on fire. Yes. Is that? Mm -hmm. So you take care of that too. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're located at 188 Mountain Avenue in Hackettstown, 908-576-0880. That isn't that the Skylands Community Plaza, right? That's it. That's that it. Is, so now, two store away from IHOP. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
You right by the IHOP, you right lucky stiff, IHOP. right? <laughs> so this weekend is a big weekend in Hackettstown and the surrounding area. Yes. We have the Spring Festival coming, yes. and this year you'll have a presence there. Yes. But it will be more than just a presence. Right, right. You're, you're going to give people presents. Yes, yeah, we have a lot of giveaway goodies. Uh, we actually face painting for not just young kids, but also for adults if they into it. <laughs> you know what? You, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> Why do kids only have to get their faces painted? Exactly. That's why I want my face painted. Right, right. As a matter of fact, some of the richest people in the world, the members of the rock group KISS, mm -hmm. they exactly. paint their faces. Yes, that's how they start with face painting. <laughs> that's right. Good that's sense right. of humor. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you're going to have face painting for everyone, giveaways, goodies, mm -hmm. and uh, meeting your staff. Is there anybody out there on your staff? who's very special to you that you'd like to say hello to right I, now? I actually, my staff, I would like to thank entire my staff. They're very good. They've been with us for a long time. Um, ever since we from part-time office, now we moved to the new location. Mm. They, uh, we've been through with all the moving, changings, and, you know, they've been... That's a lot of work, moving yes, a doctor's yes. office. Yeah, That's I a think, lot of equipment. Uh, one, one thing I would like to thank is my, Dr. Zhu. Dr. Zhu is actually my husband. Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, uh, so people that, ask me. That's strange. Yeah, why? Because you, you can't go and home and say you know, you don't feel good because no. then he's gonna find out he if knows. you're lying or not. He knows. He knows exactly. <laughs> I cannot lie to him. Yes. I don't feel good, honey. Too bad. Let's go over here. You are that's fine. That's why we work only together, only two days a week, not five days a week. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So, uh, where, did, did they tell you or show you where your your tent is going to be? Or? Yes, yes. It's going to be in 10A. I believe 10A. We well, can't get better than A. Yeah. That's pretty good. In the uh, A tent. A tent. I believe A tent. I'm not sure. But I will post every other updates on Facebook. And uh, We will we'll, find you. Yes. and We, we will, will track, track you w. down. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Please. So, we right across from with the Hackensaw Medical Center. Oh, yeah. All in the medical area. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. That's nice. So it really is. So we get to uh, meet a lot of people. So it's going to be the first time we be there, but we're excited. We have a lot of goodie stuff. We, our whole office is almost a lot of... Uh, what What does... D D PM? Uh, doctor of... Podiatric Medicine. F-A-P-W-C-A. It's a, a fellowship of wound care um, association. So I certify in wound care as well. Wow. Can I ask you a question as somebody that's curious that always sure, wanted sure, to ask a sure. podiatrist a question? <laughs> How come when you stub your toe, the toe never breaks, but it feels like it's going to fall off? But if you bang your big toe, you could break your big toe. But the, the little toe, I, I broke, I felt like it was snapped right off. It was still there. The reason is the little toe is more flexibility. The little toe have two joints. The big toe have only one joint. Okay. So that's why it's more flexible. It can endure to a lot of things. You know, the, the little toe, always, people always blame on a little toe, but you know, but uh, that's one of the reasons why it's Sometimes more Sometimes I wonder why we have one of those little toes, yeah. you know? Well, it's very important. Dr. Very Helene Gwen, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You should give her a call. Yep. Visit her office. Yes. Uh, absolutely wonderful person. And after meeting you, mm -hmm. I'll be stopping by. Yes. Come by anytime. 188 Mountain Avenue, Hackettstown, 908-576-0880. And, of course, you have a, a web presence. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I see you have state-of-the-art capabilities yeah, at your patient, office. Can, can, you do a, can you do a quick, uh, a quick thing about what that is? Because a lot of, I don't think a lot of doctors have that. Yes. Uh, we are electronic. We are paperless office. So we do have patient portal. So for new patients, we actually encourage them to go online. Register, do everything so it saves them a lot of time coming to the office. Yeah, that clipboard in the beginning of the yeah. first visit, that's a horrible experience. Right, right. After, you're scared to death mm -hmm. and you're filling out paperwork mm -hmm. and that this alleviates that. Yes, yes, definitely. It's completely, it's complete by the patient. It's accurate and it's automatically go into our system. We don't have to do any modification. And you have the, the firewall and the privacy and all yeah, that, which is, is very HIPAA important. Yeah, everything is HIPAA compliant, privacy compliant. Yes. Well, all I could say is thank you. I'm honored you were here and I hope to have you back here again. Well, definitely. I would be From Feet Beyond, Dr. Helene Gwen, and we're going to take you out with a song that has to do with feet. This is One Foot, Walk the Moon. How about that? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> On R&J Radio.